Howdy! I'm going to create a RESTful JSON API in less than 15 seconds using Sales.js. Here's a timer to keep me honest. Ready? Go! Okay, that was quick, but uh, what do I get for all this hard work? Well, first, I'll start the sales server to see my work. Now, you may have noticed that I generated both a user controller and a user model. When I hit the user route, there's no users, but I can quickly change that by adding users right here in the browser. First, I'll create a user with the name attribute of John Galt. Next, I'm going to add a user, Amy Mann, my personal hero, Nikola Tesla, and finally, Thomas Edison. Now I see that I have misspelled Amy Mann's name here, but no worries, I can update it right from here. And I also noticed that I put Nikola Tesla's arch enemy Thomas Edison in this list, and Thomas Edison was not very nice to Nikola Tesla. In fact, he stole a lot of his inventions, and I'm not a, a big fan of old Tom, so I'm going to destroy Thomas Edison from our list. You know, in a very short amount of time, I've created a powerful API that I can use to immediately feed my front-end application. By the way, if you're concerned with the convenience functionality of creating, deleting, and updating users from the browser, you can easily turn this off. We can go into the project. And in a config file here, we just turn the shortcuts off by assigning that attribute to false. So now when I start the server again and I go to create users, I'm going to get a 404. To learn more about sales, go to their website at salesjs.com and be sure to check back at my website where I'll be posting screencasts on how to use other parts of sales. Thanks for watching.